Left. I found one. Ladies and gentlemen, a sulfur ball in the ruins of the city. This has been tested before, and these are almost, you know, very highly pure sulfur. The brimstone is still evident in these ash structures, still evident, pure sulfur. And I believe has been studied and, and checked and found to be almost entirely pure. Some of the purest, if not the purest, that you can find in the world is in these ashen remains. Come on, folks. Let's turn to the almighty God who saved us from our sin and pardoned us from the penalty that we deserved. Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham. Raka Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who this world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham. As in the name, Raka Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Also, Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bahasham El Shai. And shall I want to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children, that may be listening in our truth and sincerity, shall I want. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the spirit of power of Yah Bashmi Shai from Jim West Bomb. And I'm uh, not sure what the title of this video is going to be, you know, but uh, somewhere in between, you know, you know, the Lord is real, all right, and the Lord is going to bring. You know, uh, the Lord is going to rain. You know, thermal is going to is going to rain thermonuclear missiles in this place, man. All right, and just as you saw in the video, Sodom and Gomorrah is set as an uh, an example. You know, evidence. You know that uh, sulfur. You know, which is uh, uh, brimstone, according to the scripture. All right, was found and still found in Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. And they show, you know, that pure sulfur, you know, compared to the you know, uh, sulfur that Esau has, okay, or brimstone. And let me actually start with this scripture here. This is uh, Genesis chapter 19. And let me see if I want to start up a little bit. All right, because there's a lot of uh, homosexual acts going on in Sodom and Gomorrah of course we uh, we read the scriptures and I want to start up a little bit Really, I can start up, but uh, just for the sake of time. Well, let me start at the top. Get it. This is Genesis 19 and 1. It says, And there came two angels to Sodom at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will, we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned 
in unto him and entered into his house and he made them a feast and did bake eleven bread and they did eat but before they lay down the men of the city even the men of Sodom compassed the house round both old and young and all the people from every quarter okay so uh so Lot uh, brought these uh, two angels into the house and, you know, cooked for them. All right. It says, verse four, it says, but they, uh, but before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, and all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and said unto, unto him, where are the men which came in to thee this night bring them out unto us that we may know them all right and to know them you know that they wanted to do uh to do sexual acts with them huh? all right to know them biblically <laughs> you know it says verse six it says and lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after them after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold, now, behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing, for therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. All right, so Lot was, was ready to offer them uh, his daughters, but virgin daughters all right it says and they said stand back and they said again this one fellow came in to sojourn and he will and he will needs be a judge now will we deal worse with thee than with them and they pressed sore upon the man even lot and came near to break the door so they're ready to to get down on lot all right and, and break the door it says but the man poor put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut the door. Okay, speaking of uh, the, uh, the angels, they uh, grabbed Lot and pulled him in the house and shut the door. It says that they smote the men that were at at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they reared themselves to find the door. All right, so they was, they was made blind. And remember at the beginning of the chapter it says both old and so old, old old men and young men you know showing how wicked this place was okay and that's the same thing you see today in, in babylon the great all right this place is likened unto sodom and, and uh gomorrah man so you see young sodomites you see old sodomites okay it says and they smote the men with that were at the door of the house with blindness both small and great so that they worried themselves to find a door and the men said unto Lot, Has thou he, has thou here any besides son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters and whatsoever thou hast in the city? Bring them out of this place, for we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord Yahweh, and the Lord Yahweh have sent us to destroy it. All right, so he, so. He, so, uh, so the Mosai sent these angels to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, man. All right. It says, verse 14, And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-laws, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that, that mocked, but he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. And when, and when the morning arose, then the angels hasted Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. You know, so his his sons in laws, you know, you know, they wasn't they wasn't with it, man. Right? You know, they didn't believe. It says Verse sixteen, and while he lingered, the men laid upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters and the, and the Lord being merciful unto him. And they brought him forth and set him without the city. 
and it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said escape for thy life look not behind thee neither stay thou in all the and all the plain escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, O oh, not so, my lord. Behold, now the servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed unto me, and saving my life. And I cannot escape into the mountain, lest some evil take me, and I die. Behold, now the city is near to flee unto is near to flee unto and is and is a little one oh let me escape thither it is not a little one and my soul shall live and he's and he said unto him see i have accepted thee concerning this thing also that i will not overthrow this city for for the which thou hast spoken haste thee escape thither for i cannot do anything till thou be come thither. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zora. Zora. You know, so they wasn't going to destroy, you know, until, you know, a uh, lot left. It says the sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zora. Then the Lord Yahweh rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone, all right, which is sulfur, okay, brimstone and fire from the Lord Yahweh out of heaven, you know, showing, you know, that, you know, it was pure brimstone, man, because it's coming from, it's coming from the heavens, man, all right, so pure sulfur, uh, fire and brimstone, fear, uh, pure sulfur and fire okay and you seen in the video where you put fire to sulfur you know it pretty much turns into like hot lava all right and i looked it up you can find uh sulfur near like uh volcanoic you know areas you know and they also use uh sulfur and uh and bullets you know it's, it's a small like 10 percent of sulfur and bullets they use sulfur and bombs all right, and uh, they use sulfur ore, O R E, and uh, nuclear missiles, man. Okay. It says, verse twenty-five, and he overthrew some those cities, and all the plain, and all the inhabitants of the city, and that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him. And she became a pillar of salt. Why? Because the Lord said not to look back. All right. You know, Lot was living good in, in uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, man. All right. You know, but his wife, she wasn't ready to uh, to move on, to push forward. She didn't have faith. And let me see. Read verse 27 as well. It says, It says, verse 27, it says, And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord, and he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah and toward all the land of the plain, and beheld, and lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. You see, so that place uh, was destroyed, you know, by the fire and the brimstones. You know, same way as America is going to be destroyed. This is Jude, verse 7. It says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, okay, Men going after men, women going after women, men wanting to be women, women wanting to be men. All right, it says that in Romans the first chapter. All right, uh, the changing of kinds. Okay, going after strange flesh are set for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire, man. All right. 
fire and brimstone. All right. That's the like manner how this place is going to be as a story, you know. But this time it's going to be through thermonuclear missiles, man. All right. Shot from uh, from different ends of the earth. All right. And the, and even with the, uh, the radiation coming from sulfur, you know, all right, it's not bearable. You know, even even the radiation coming off the sulfur once it's burning. All right, so how much more the nuclear missiles, man? All right, with the different chemicals these scientists are, are putting in it, and I looked it up. Uh, it says uh, thermonuclear missiles are uh, made out of uh, uh, uranium. Let me see. says Platomi Plutonium Plutonium and Uranium Let me actually look up that Plutonium 239 Plutonium Two thirty nine. It says Pluto Pluto Neum two thirty nine is the primary fissile isotope used for the production of nuclear weapons. It says plutonium-239 is also one of the three main isotopes demonstrated usable as fuel in thermal spectrum nuclear reactors, reactors along with uranium-235 and uranium-233. You can see it. See what it says in etymology for Pluto. It's a metallic element. Says the chemical element of atomic number ninety four. It says a dense silvery radioactive metal used as a fuel in nuclear reactors and an explosion and as an explosive in nuclear fissile weapons. You know, hey, that's gonna that's gonna be destroying people, man real soon and uh, what was it uranium <laughs> it says the chemical element of atomic number 92 a dense gray radioactive metal Used as a fuel in nuclear reactors. All right, so that's a chemical as well. I mean, so you can see there, just a little, the images right there. See, so the Lord, 
the Lord has this, you know, perfectly planned out. Let me see if there's more with the brimstone. This is Psalms 11 and 6 says, Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. See, so that's going to be the uh, the portion of the wicked. All right. Those things were created for the wicked. Let me get uh, Sirach 39. It says, uh, Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 28, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, in which in their fury lay all so strokes. In a time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him, the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction, you see? So fire, fire as the Lord uses that for destruction, you know? You know, you know, other things as well, cooking, you know, but that's gonna be, that's gonna be, be used against the wicked, man. All right, the principal things is life, and life, you know, Fire, uh, I don't think that's the, it says the principal things, hold on. You know, but the things that we use, you know, the Lord is going to use it against them. It says it is a rock. I'm not sure if it says the fire. Oh, it does say fire. Uh, same chapter. Uh, verse 26, it's a rock 39 and 26. The principal things for the whole use of of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour, wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil, and clothing. All these things are for good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned into evil. You see? So the Lord is going to use that as their destruction. Um, let me see if there's another one on this. Let me get the one, the one in uh, the gospel. You know, and that brimstone, as you've seen, once it's on fire, it turns into, like, lava, man. All right? You know, so that's why the scripture says, you know, uh, the lake of fire. Okay, because with all that sulfur, all right, and there's volcanoes in different areas that contain the sulfur, all right? So with that sulfur and be, it being on fire, it's going to turn into, like, lava, man. All right, that's why I was referred to as that lake of fire, man. This is Luke 17 and 29. It says, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all, man. You see that fire and that brimstone, that sulfur. This is Revelations 9 and 17. says and thus i saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jathet and brimstone that's all for it says and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone man all right you know those are the thermonuclear missiles man it says, by these three was the third part of men. He saw Edom killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone, which issued out of their mouths, proving that sulfur is going to be in these thermonuclear missiles, man. And...
Isaiah, that was a good one too, but I mean, good. Let me grab the uh, lick of fire. See, this is uh, Ro uh, Revelation 19 and 20 says, And the beast was taken, uh, NATO and the EU, uh, and with him the false prophet, all right, the, uh, the Pope, that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worship his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone you see so you can picture it man all right like hot lava you know just running down man all right and you see it in a video he uh made it a little bit darker that you can see the blue you can see the blue heat coming from that sulfur so how much more you know, uh, the day of the Lord, that heat is going to be extreme. So fire is going to be coming up out of, from, from off that brimstone like nothing, man. All right. It's going to be burning for a very long time. All right. Uh, Revelation 20 and 10, it says, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So it's going to be burning it up for a long duration of time this is revelations 20 and 15 it says and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire you see alright so that was pretty much the point there man alright you know just uh, and I ran across that video you know one of the brothers had posted it on instagram all right, you know, also proving that Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is real, man. All right, these things are uh, just backing up the scriptures, man. Showing you how true the scriptures are. All right, the scriptures is no fairy tale, man. All right, brimstone being sulfur, a modern day word for sulfur. All right proves how true the scriptures are all right and you'll be a fool to believe that this is just a fairy tale man all right so with that you know a little brother this video was edifying to the elect of the nation of israel i'm gonna close with that and give all praise honor and glory to yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham makar kodash double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone peace and mercy to the house of david and to the next lesson i say shalom and above all shalom